Hello and welcome to Didactics Online. This is Brandon Parker and this is an introductory video for the Sacrum. I'm just going to get you comfortable with the different terminology and landmarks of the Sacrum so we can have a couple other videos on diagnosis and treatment. So just a little bit about the anatomy and landmarks that we're going to be using a lot during Sacrum diagnosis and treatment. The PSIS are nice easy landmarks to find when the patient is prone. They're going to be the most posterior and nice and easy to palpate. As you move medial and slightly superior into the um, medial aspect, you're going to be on the sacral sulci. This will take a little bit of digging with the thumb, so you make sure that you want to have a poking motion as opposed to a flat palpation. Sacral sulci are going to be at the base of the sacrum. You can think of the sacrum as an upside down triangle with the base at the most superior aspect and the inferior aspect towards the coccyx is the apex of that triangle. Down here at the apex of the triangle, you have at the inferior lateral border the ILAs, or the inferior lateral angles. These will also be very key in the diagnosis of the sacrum. In addition to landmarks, we're also going to need to go over a few of the axes of the sacrum. To do that, we'll go over here to our model. The normal transverse axes of the sacrum are a superior transverse axis, which is most engaged during respiration. This axis will allow flexion and extension through the superior. The medial axis is going to be the postural motion, which will be engaged during walking and will allow physiologic motion of the sacrum. The last and most inferior axis in a transverse um, axis is going to be the SI joints, so where the iliac and the sacrum articulate. So we have respiratory, postural, SI. In addition to these physiologic axes, we're also going to be discussing some pathologic axes. These will be the right and left oblique, which will be engaged during a torsion, as well as a vertical axis that will be engaged during margination. If you have any more questions or any comments, please join us on Didactics Online and join us for a few other videos on the sacrum.